George Washington was born in Virginia, February 22, 1732, and died in Virginia on December 14, 1799, after the British cut off the entry port into New York and forbidden other military men from entering the city, Washington was determined to end the British reign. While searching for perfect area to fit all his needs, General Washington found the Hasbrook residence located in Newburgh, New York. The Newburgh location was mainly picked due to its convenience. It was close enough to the Hudson River, his soldiers in New Windsor, close to West Point, and close to New York City. This was close enough to threaten and attack the British, and yet far enough for the flee for safety if necessary. These headquarters gave clearance to see Mount Beacon and the chance to hear shots fired from there, ultimately giving General Washington the signal that the British were moving north. General Washington rented the Hasbro home from April 1782 until August 1783. After the death of Jonathan Hasbro, the home was left to his wife and their seven children. Luckily for General Washington, Miss Hasbro was a devoted patriot and was per perfectly willing to give up her home for General to use. In 1850, the Fieldstone Farmhouse, known as the Washington Headquarters, was open to the public. In 1961, the location became the first historic site in the nation to be declared a registered National Historic Landmark. Washington's headquarters is known to be the place where our Commander-in-Chief resided the longest. General Washington and his wife resided with a large amount of staff and handled all of their basic needs. He had six lifeguards that were also his administrative aides and personal servants. The tour guide at Washington headquarters spoke through the voices of one of the female servants for Mrs. Washington, and she wore clothing to represent those years. During the Washington stay, two lifeguards would sleep on the floor at the floor front door with thin mattresses. The last four aides slept in the next room on the two small cots that folded up. Inside Washington headquarters was his office, which was considered his sanctuary. In his office, here, he made important decisions such as declining the offer to be the head of the American Empire. Washington developed the match of military merit, which for the enlisted men that displayed unusual bravery while completing his daily demands. In the summer of 1783, only three soldiers received this badge of honor, and it was never distributed again. And as an alternative awarded award, the Purple Heart was created to credit soldiers who died or were wounded while laying their lives on the line for fellow soldiers. During the battle, General Washington held his highest expectations for his men and remained dedicated to them until the end. On March 15, 1783, the general formed a letter from his views of the future called the Circular Letter meant for the 13 state governors. This historical document was known to be the foundation of the constitutions. During the tour, we're able to see the different tools, kitchen utensils, clothing, and other colonial ever objects that were used for the soldiers, the servants, and Mrs. Washington. The visitors were also allowed to touch the heavy wool coat worn all year round by the soldiers. As the visitors, we were also given permission to sit on the cots that they slept on and all the campground furniture folded into trunks for travel. There is also a museum on the property that shelters over 1,300 artifacts to view on a computerized device for self-learning. The museum displays clothing and other items that were used during the Revolutionary War. These items are presented in an organized fashion and in class cases and metal cabinets. The guided tours told the powerful story of the brave general and his staff. Even though photographies and video devices were not allowed in the visit, the Washington headquarters was full of details that helped us visualize the last months of Washington State. And the house was set up to mimic the last moments in a small stone, for, stone farmhouse. The headstone located on the front grounds was created for Uziel Neck and the last of Washington's lifeguards. The Tower of the Victory and the first monument built to celebrate the peace that followed the victory of the American Revolution. The statue of the Minutemen that stands in front of the house represents the seizing of fire and the ending of the war. This area of the city has high crime rate. However, Washington headquarters is still a well-maintained historic place. This landmark is conceived, conserved by the New York State Office of Park Registration and Historical Preservation, which in, two, in 24 facilities administrated by the Palisades Interstate Park Commissions in New York. And